Thanks for joining me for another Airbrush Asylum video. In this tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to airbrush some redback spiders with webbing on this motorbike helmet. So here's a quick look at the completed helmet and what you can expect. Let's get into the tutorial right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, the helmet's been prepped with 800 wet and dry sandpaper. What I did was I masked it up first, cleaned it, um, sanded it, then took off all the masking and remasked it, re-cleaned it with uh, wax and grease remover and some water-based prep sole, and now it's ready to begin the airbrushing. Uh, the customer wants to incorporate their children's handprints in the design, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. We just wanna go subtle with it, so nothing too crazy. I'm just going to spray around each finger and do that with this silver. So it's a trident silver. And that's gonna give me the handprint, but not take away from the black base. But it will pop once it's cleared. So when using any of these metallics, working over a darker base is always gonna be better. It's probably hard to see. You can see as I move it, it's coming to life. So I don't need much more than that. Might just um, go a little bit heavier on this section here, just to even that up. And just a real easy way to achieve it by cutting a paper template, using that as the positive mask. And then by utilizing this template, it's also a bit more personal because the children drew around their own hands. So I've got to kind of look on an angle to see where I need to go a bit brighter. Just feathering that out. Now work on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it now with the transparent black. So I'm just gonna do one even coat and do the other side and repeat. As you can see, it's, um, that's the one with the transparent black. And then if you go to the other side, you can see how much brighter it is without that transparent black. So this is a lot better, that's what I want. Leave the air on, let that dry off a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and add the webbing. Now, because I've got the handprints on either side, I'm going to run the webbing up from the front of the helmet and taper it off. And then I'll have bits of the webbing stretching out as well. Once that's done, I will add the spiders. So redback spider webs are extremely messy. So that's what I'm going for, they're not your perfect looking webbing. So the challenge here is gonna to be to have it appear messy. Up close with the airbrush, keep moving. This is an over-reduced white. I will come back once I've got the foundation laid down of the webs. I'll come back and hit some of those spots with highlights. I can even utilise transparent black if I want to knock it into the background. If you're not confident doing this freehand, because it will take a bit of skill to be able to lay these lines in nice and fine, even though you are going uneven. You need that control so they don't spider out. Uh, you could utilize a brush. The only thing is the brush is gonna be extremely sharp. So that's why I don't really wanna use it. I want more of a realistic look and I think that brushing it, you might need to then still come over the top with an airbrush.
It's getting there. As you can see, it's fairly labor intensive. I will still come in and refine it. The other thing that makes it a little bit more of a challenge is obviously working on a helmet, it's curved. So you've got to keep kind of readjusting to make sure that the lines remain nice and sharp. Again, you can see how I'm running with the shape of the helmet. Okay, so we want that Whenever working on anything like a car or a bike or a helmet, you know, whatever it may be where there's a shape involved rather than a flat panel or a flat canvas, you want to make sure that you flow with that particular object. When I say flow, that the artwork um, kind of matches up to what you're painting. It looks like it's deliberate and it's a part of it. You don't want to just slap things, you know, here, there and everywhere. It's kind of got to make sense. So if this is the first time watching one of our videos, then welcome. For all of our regular viewers, welcome back. I do hope that you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, give it the thumbs up, share it out, and let's build this airbrushing community together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Tap on that bell icon and that will notify you every time I put out new content. Again, being a redback web and being messy is going to work to our advantage. However, I still want that sort of flow to be resembled on both sides. I'm also coming down here with some webbing to tie in with the um, hand prints that I did earlier. Again, that's all part of having that uniformity in the design and to create these fine lines. I'm using an airbrush with a 0.18mm needle nozzle setup. So this one here is the PS770 by GSI Krios. Bit of tip drying, always happens when you're using white. But I have to say, I am yet to find a better white than this Trident paint. I find this one flows so close to urethane, it's not funny. Whereas a lot of the other brands I find just tip dry a lot more. Slowly but surely filling up that webbing and then once that's done I'll add the spiders. Just working a few of those spider webs down into this area here just to tie it all together. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and just hit a couple of highlights and do a few more webs. 
in behind. So we just get that sense of depth. So these ones are not as sharp, a little bit further away. So by moving quicker, and I'm a bit further away, I'm getting a softer highlight. And since creating a softer web, and I'll keep coming in and adding some of those dot white highlights to certain sections, and then I'll um, render the spiders. Okay, now we'll continue those dot highlights in certain areas. Don't need much, just sort of randomly putting them in. Okay, so now using my Redback Spider template, I'm going to pick some of these spiders and add them to the webbing. I think this one here is pretty cool. I'll put him here. So what I'm going to do first is just using white, I'm going to get my outline in. You can see the, the red spot on the tail is masked off as a positive. So I'll spray through this and once I've done that then I will render them but let's mark them all in first. Now this is a little bit bigger, almost double the size of a real redback spider. The real redbacks are about a centimeter in um, length from the back of the uh, body to the front, but that'd be a bit too small to really uh, showcase anything on this helmet. Okay, so we've got the first one in there. While I've got the white, what I'm gonna do is just Go ahead and add some highlights to the back of the body where that stripe's got to go. And we'll run with some highlights on the back here. really dot white highlights just to build up a bit of texture and then highlights on the legs Add a bit more webbing around where this spider is. Again, just get the basic outline. Like so, colour in that red spot first. Make sure that's nice and bright. Then dot white highlights. So I'm going to come back in with a transparent black to fully shade. And that's where I'll sharpen it all up and pull in all the detail. Same deal, we'll do a bit more webbing around him. Or shall I say her? 
is the uh, larger red backs are female, the male is even smaller. Again, same method. Let's get the outline. So just maneuver the template. You can see how I'm really using the airbrush to render unevenly, as I don't want a flat looking spider by adding the texture will make it look a lot more realistic Okay, now it's time to render them. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in the red stripes. I'm using Trident Red, just their uh, true red. So you can see it's a nice punchy red. Because it's a bit of an orangey red, it's kind of perfect for the stripe matches up nicely. You get a bit of overspray like that won't matter because you're gonna, gonna come in with the transparent black anyway. So now you gotta render each spider with the transparent black. So I wanna be nice and crisp now. Starting in the darkest spot, I'm going to work my way around. So even when I'm shading, I'm kind of stippling.
just shading over the entire body. I'm probably going to have to come in, I think, with a actual black, not just a transparent black, just the trident black, just to make it pop a little bit more. But first and foremost, I'm going to hit some highlights on it, see if I can pull a little bit more of the uh, detail out of it. So definitely need to create a bit more contrast. He's uh, getting a bit lost. I'm gonna come in with the darker, uh, like a proper black, as I mentioned before, but I'm also going to lighten up around him. I'm just using some of these fire tool templates of mine. Just dust around the body. And I'll do the rest freehand. And I'll merge that in. So I need a bit of a heavier white base. Which I thought might be the case to make him pop out a bit more. You'll see once I put the black on now, how much he's going to come to life. And I'll also be able to do a drop shadow then. And what I'm going to do is, again, as I did before, just add some more webbing and fog it in in sections so that it looks like it was all deliberate and then it's going to give it even more of an uneven look so it'll look more realistic like proper red back webs I do need to get some of this unevenness in there so that I can better shade the spiders and make them pop so because I know that's going to work, I'll go ahead and do that all now. Okay, so now coming in with the final tone, black. You really want to be nice and sharp with this. Obviously now with that white behind the spider, it's, it's showing up nicely now. Uh, 
add in some drop shadows to find a couple more of those highlights Okay, same method, starting off with the transparent black. Okay, so coming in now with highlights. Again, just dot white highlights, not just flat toning, just to get a bit more depth. Now we're going to drop shadow. And again, coming in with that transparent black. I'll just hit some of those highlights again on the back of the spider. Transparent black.
So again, drop shadows. Again, coming in with that transparent black. Coming back in with the black. Add in some drop shadows. Okay, so I wasn't happy with these legs in there, so I just sort of tweaked that. Actually gonna bring this one right down. Okay, so still not really happy with this leg, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually eliminate this leg. I think that's what's wrong with it. And I'll show you how to fix it. So you're gonna blend out. Because our base is black, this will disappear. I'm actually gonna use the solid black instead, that transparent black. So just black that out, feather it out. And now, coming back in with the white, I need to bring webbing back into it.
Okay, now we're on a re-render. So this time I want to get it right. So I'm just going to freehand it in. So we're going to bring this leg down to the body of the spider, right down to the bottom. Like so. This one can stay. We'll bring this in a little bit while we can. And we'll take out this part. Dust in around there. And then this leg can stay. We just need to add one more. So this will be the new body line. Like that. So it's that back leg. It's that leg. And then we want one more coming off which can basically just go like so and then out like that much better sometimes you just gotta cut your losses and fix her up much happier with that okay so now back to transparent black, fix it all up, shade it, highlights, and we are done. Trust the last spider to give me grief. Put those shadows back in. You can see how that that repair now can't even tell that it was there, and it's looking much better. So if something's not right, take the time to fix it up. It didn't take that long to do this and it looks a lot better. Okay, so continuing on with white, just going to add in some more webbing around these front areas here to tie the whole design in together. So I'm going to work in some of the other strands of the webbing just to give it a bit of a 3D appearance and to match the rest of the uh, artwork. Same deal on the other side, up nice and close. Just keep the airbrush moving so that it doesn't spider out. So you've got to make sure that your paint mix is really 
fine tuned for this. So basically your paint mix and your PSI. Okay, so now using transparent black, I'm just gonna tone down a little bit of the webbing in certain sections, starting with the front. So it's also gonna provide a little bit more 3D effect because you're knocking some of these layers back. So I'm looking for these sort of deeper pockets so it marries up with what I've already done. By using transparent black you can control it and it's also going to provide a few extra layers So I'm a fair way away from the surface, just so that it makes it easier to control the spray. So here's a bit of a close-up of the completed artwork now. Helmet shown before clear and with that uh, webbing toned down. is definitely going to bring it all out, especially the handprints. So be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. Until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video.
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.